Okay, time to play some Castlevania. Crap. Hey YouTube, this is James of Last Dark Games. Today, we're going to be looking at this Castlevania cartridge for the N64. Let's see if we can find out why it's not working. I've already given this a clean, but just to show you that there's no grime or dirt or anything causing the issue with this cartridge. Let's open it up and take a look inside. I'm going to use my multimeter to check all the contacts. It's common for N64 cartridges to have the traces wear off. It looks like something's breaking the traces on these first several pins. Taking a look closer, you can actually see that there's a crack in the circuit board. So I'm going to take a few strands of this wire and jump the brakes on the circuit board. The first thing I'm going to do is scrape off this solder mask where I'm going to make my jump. I'm just scraping away so I can get to the copper underneath. Then I'm going to clean the area with alcohol and add some flux to the site. This is the strand I'm going to be using. I'm going to see how much of this I'm going to need, and then I'll just go ahead and cut it down to size. And with that on the board, it's time to solder it into place. With it secured on there, it's time to see if we actually made the jump correctly and we have connectivity. And it looks like it's working fine. So with these two pins working, let's go ahead and work on all the others.
Now that we have all the broken traces fixed, let's put everything back together. I want to be careful with this little black piece because I don't want to break all the work that I've done. I'm getting a lot of resistance from the extra height of all my solder work. And with that, everything's back together. Time to try again to play some Castlevania. And it works! Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more.